Hi friends, it's Miss Bonnie. Today for our group time, I thought we could talk about colors. Do you guys know your colors? I have one of Sophia's little toys here. Do you guys know what this color is? Red, purple, blue, also blue, light blue, green, yellow, orange, and the top part is red. Good job. Now I have these ones. They're also col different colors. Do you see them? Three little guys here. Do you see their faces? This is one of our favorite toys. It is also, you have to match the colors of the little guys and put them in this little hole and they bounce. They're really fun. Do you wanna see the, one, the red one bounce? First, we're gonna talk about colors, but we're gonna talk about colors in Spanish too. So do you know what, how we call red in Spanish? Rojo. Can we count for the red one to jump? Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Ooh, el rojo. Okay, now do you know what this color is in Spanish? Azul. Can you say azul? Azul. Now we're gonna make this one jump, okay? Can we count in Spanish? Uno, dos, tres. Boing! Azul. Okay, now this one. ¿Qué color es? What color is it? Amarillo. Can you say it with me? Amarillo. We're gonna make it jump again. Uno, dos, tres. Amarillo. Muy bien, very good. And now this one is verde. We're gonna make the green one jump now. Verde. Brinca. Can you guys say brinca? That means jump. Brinca. Uno, dos, tres. Brinca. Good job. Okay. So we have our four little guys of different colors. Verde, rojo, azul, amarillo. Muy bien. I am going to read you a story about colors too. Do you know what animal this is? A chameleon. Do you know something very cool about chameleons is that they change color depending where they are, right? So look, this, this book is called A Color of His Own and it's by Leo Leone. And it's also in Spanish. So I'm gonna read them both, okay? A, co a color of his own, su propio color. Los loros son verdes, parrots are green. Algunos peces son rojos, goldfish are red. Los elefantes son grises, elephants are gray. Los cerdos son rosados, pigs are pink. Todos los animales tienen su propio color. All animals have a color of their own. Menos los camaleones, except for chameleons. Cambian de color donde quiera que van. They change color wherever they go. Sobre los limones son amarillos. On lemons they are yellow. Entre el brezo son morados. In the heather, they are purple. Y sobre el tigre tienen rayas como los tigres. And on the tiger, they are striped like tigers. Un día, un camaleón que estaba sentado en la cola de un tigre se dijo. One day, a chameleon who was sitting on a tiger's tail said to himself. Si me quedo en una hoja, siempre seré verde y entonces yo también tendré mi propio color. If I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever. And so, I too will have a color of my own. Con esta idea, Alegre subió a la hoja más verde. With this thought, he cheerfully climbed onto the greenest leaf. 
Pero en otoño la hoja se volvió amarilla y él y también el camaleón. But in the autumn, the leaf turned yellow, and so did the chameleon. Más tarde, la hoja cambió al color rojo, y el camaleón también se volvió rojo. Later, the leaf turned red, and the chameleon too turned red. Y luego los vientos de invierno hicieron caer la hoja de la rama y con ella al camaleón. And then, the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch, and with it, the chameleon. See, it's falling. Se cayó. El camaleón se volvió negro durante las largas noches de invierno. The chameleon was black in the long winter nights. Pero cuando llegó la primavera, se encontró de nuevo en el prado verde, y allí conoció a otro camaleón. But when spring came, he walked out into the green grass, and there he met another chameleon. Le contó su triste historia, que es que nunca vamos a tener nuestro propio color, le preguntó. He told his sad story. Won't we ever have a color of our own? He asked. Me temo que no, le contestó el otro camaleón, porque era más viejo y más sabio. Pero, continuó, ¿por qué no te quedas conmigo? I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon, who was older and wiser. But, he added, why don't we stay together? Cambiaremos de color donde quiera que vayamos, pero tú y yo siempre seremos iguales. We will still change color wherever we go, but you and I will always be alike. Y se quedaron juntos. And so they remained side by side. Y juntos fueron de color verde. They were green together. Y morado and purple. Y amarillo and yellow. Y rojo con lunares blancos y vivieron felices and red with white polka dots, and they lived happily ever after. Vivieron felices para siempre. Did you see how many times the poor chameleon changed colors? Let's see over here. Yellow, green, blue, purple. Oh no. Striped. This is a pretty cool book about colors, huh? Speaking of colors, I have a special experiment for you guys. I'm going to put this book over here. Let me put the little jumpy guys back in their spots. Amarillo, verde, rojo y azul. Muy bien. So for our next activity, I have an experiment for you guys. Also, talking about colors, I'm going to use three colors. These are our primary colors. Yellow, do you remember what this one's called in Spanish? Amarillo, what about this one? Rojo, red, and azul, blue, very good. So we're gonna use these three colors. We need six um, cups, six little cups. They can be plastic, mine are glass, but they can be plastic. You're just, you're just supposed to be able to see through them. They have to be clear. So I am going to fill three up with water. This is another thing you need. You need water. Put them a little bit more than half full. And then we're going to color them, each of them one color, blue, red, and yellow. I'm gonna add a few drops of yellow the first one, a few drops of red to the other one, and last one, there we go, azul, rojo, y amarillo, mix them up. So this experiment is called walking water. So for the next step, we're going to make a circle with our cups. I have three more. So in total, I have six cups, three empty and three full. I'm gonna make a nice little circle. Red, empty. Yellow, empty. Blue, empty, okay? 
And now I need paper towels. So I have two paper towels and I'm gonna cut them in three pieces each. Let me scoot this out of the way a little bit so I can cut them over here. I'm just gonna cut them with my hand like this. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to roll these ones up, these one up into little, I'm going to fold them up like this. So they are like a little taco. See? I'm going to make one. Two, you can roll them up or you can fold them. However, you, it's easier for you. I want to scrunch them up together. And then what I'm going to do is put them inside the, the cups. They have to go from one cup to another one. From a colored cup to an empty cup. And we're going to leave it like that for a few hours. I'm not going to keep you on recording. I will come back after we will see what happened. Maybe you guys can try it at home and see what happens. What do you think is going to happen? We have red. So I'm going to add this one right here from my red to my empty. I'm going to add another one from my yellow to the empty. Do you see that the red one and the yellow one are in the same one? And now the yellow one is also going to be sharing over here with the blue. There we go. And now I'm going to put a blue to the empty one. And now a red to this empty one too. Ooh, what's happening? Do you see, is, is anything happening yet? My towels did, my paper towels did get wet. So we have to wait a little bit. I will come back in just a little bit. I'm gonna leave it like that for a few hours and then I will come back and we'll see what happened to our walking water. Sound good? Okay guys, so I waited a couple of hours and we have the end result of our colorful experiment. Do you remember we were talking about colors? So I'm going to show you what happened. These are my six glasses and do you see now they all have water? What colors did we have when I put them on in? Do you remember we had only yellow? and red and blue. And now in between the yellow and the blue, what came out? Green. And then in between the red and the yellow, we got orange. And this last one, in between the purple, I mean the blue and the red, we got purple. So we have now a beautiful rainbow. I'm gonna show you up from, on, from top, on top. So this actually happened pretty quickly. It happened like within half an hour. It was already like this. You guys can leave her longer. You guys can add some more colors if you guys have more colors. Mix them up in a different, in a different order. I don't know, but it's pretty cool to watch it go. So that was it for our little group time with colors. Do you guys remember the names of the colors in Spanish? We have verde, amarillo, azul, y rojo. Okay. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.